now we will uh, explore the most important option of Google Sheet which will be very crucial towards handling the version history or doing a rollback of the changes that you made to a Google Sheet. Basically, Google has its inbuilt version control, which can be used to track what all changes you have made to Google Sheet so that you can roll back those changes if required. It could be a scenario where there are multiple people working on this Google Sheet and there are being errors being encountered and you really do not know what your colleagues has or your manager or your friend has changed on those worksheets and you like to know that. So this version history comes as a handy tool to roll back those changes if you do not require them. And you also get to know who all have made those changes. So if I go to file, there's an option called version history. So I can name this current, current version as today's date, which is, or I'll just put version one of my file and I save it. Now, if I go to file version history and see version history, you can see my version of this file being named over here. Yeah. Now, I go back to my original file and try to delete this entire column. I mistakenly deleted it and I saved it. So I just close this file. That's it. It has been gone. Again, if I try to open this Google Sheet, I'll see, okay, this, this has been mistakenly deleted by me. So I go back to file, version history, and check for the previous versions which I had, which showed those figures. So you can see V1 of my live of my file, which I have added, I'll click on it, and you'll see all the numbers which were deleted appearing on it. Now what do I do to get these numbers back? Because my existing or the current version does not have those numbers. So what I have to do is click on the previous version in which I had those numbers, in which I had that data which has to be rectified. I'll say restore this version and I'll say restore. You'll see my file is in original shape now. The unit discount and unit cost column has returned. So this version history serves as a very important tool towards managing your work, managing any errors that happen on your Google Sheet, or managing the changes that happens when this Google Sheet has been shared with multiple people. Yeah. So suppose I share it with an another email ID of mine. Yeah. Just send. And I'll try to open this file. From my, from my another email ID. So suppose I go here, open my email. I can see I can analyze. I try to open this file. Yeah. I delete all the store key which are here available. 
see the current person who is using this file is suppose is so I'll delete the store keys and I just close this file so you actually see the store keys has been deleted now what do I do how do I know who has deleted the store key so again version history becomes very very important to understand who has made the changes on your file so you again go to file version history go to C version history and you'll find a record where who has made the changes so if you see the record has been the dot has been marked in purple color so if I click on it I would be able to see who has made the changes so I have made the change from a different email ID so my name has appeared and you can see where the changes has been made in color purple wherein if I would have done the changes from my tutorial account which is I scan analyze you can see it is displayed in green so all the changes that are made by I scan analyze would be displayed in green and any other user who make changes in a file would be dis displayed in a different color right now it has been displayed in purple so you can see I have made changes in the stroke key let me roll back the changes that I have made to my original file that we have saved so this is the restore version say restore this version I will say restore so I have the entire data back so I have my store key back so this is how you roll back your changes this way you control whose changes you accept whose changes you uh, want to keep or if you want to monitor the changes happening on your application